So I have seen this、um, kind of cash light, cash shadow, and lighting trending lately,、um, and decided to study it for myself and learn that what a cheap trick it is to really buff up the contrast and the brightness of your image to draw eyes.、Um, To draw eyes to your to your to your picture, and it's working really well, and it's really easy to do. I mean, really easy for me. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how easy it is will be for you.、Um, it's gonna be really hard for me to explain the really com complex concept of、um, forms and shadows in this video.、Um, I'll work on that. For another video, I guess, but I will do this for you. I'll do this for you. Um. So what happens is super easy, super easy. Okay. You just need. Uh. Okay, that's that's my baby. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, continuing the, with the recording. Um. That was my baby popping in. Yep, that was my baby popping in. Yep. All right. Um, it's a really simple process. All you have to do is pretty much color your character, um, no, as you would normally. Uh, so here I have flat colors and a little bit of shading on their hair to give them volume, but everything else is pretty much flat. We don't need anything, any detailed shading, any detailed shadows. You can add a little bit if you want, it, like the the regular room 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 temperature, the regular room shadows, you know. Alrighty, then the next part is where the magic comes in. You add a light and shadow layer. I kind of just do it like this, as fast, less layers. Not so many cumbersome layers. So what I do is, from the environment colors, I picked a slightly darker color of the environment for shadows. Now you could、um, disobey that rule if you like for the storytelling of the scene, but overall you want to obey this rule so the shadow and the lighting feel like it's in the same space. And then you put this below the. Black color layer and the flat color layer set on multiply.、Um, set on multiply,、um, and then you start a, you start doing the、um, the lights. You basically decide the shadow and then do the lights. Ah, the the baby is here again. I pause. I pause. Okay, then. Without further ado, I will start doing the doing the highlight. It's honestly faster if you just work with the light directly. And I have the layers locked so that they don't, so the highlight wouldn't go out. And when I'm doing the highlight, actually, I turn off other color layers so it's not so us. It's not gonna confuse me how the shape looks. Because you want really good、um, shape on the on the on the light, especially around the nose area,、um, because that's but、um, but it's easier. It's easier if you start from the top of the head, because that's where the light is gonna catch. First, basically, go with how light is gonna fall upon your subject. In this case, the characters, and、um, here, honestly, like Randy's hair, I'm treating it like it's、um, three different egg shapes. <laughs> that makes sense.
And once you have the light fall on the characters here, you know better how to how it's gonna fall on the on the face. I had to learn this from how to make the light falling on the face interesting because you can't just have it, it, having just one big shape is not as interesting like, like one big shape like this is not interesting it's kind of boring it, it kind of defeats the purpose of having this kind of lighting so what you want to do is break up the shapes there but you want to start with a big shape a uh, big shape like this maybe like a diamond shape generally is um preferred and then you look at the shape of the of, of the hair above it and create a cast shadow to cut to cut the shape it's super easy but yeah it doesn't work so well with characters that don't have that kind of hair <laughs> that don't have hair in the front <laughs> You will have to figure out something else. <laughs> like a bold character wouldn't have this kind of... Uh, you will have to figure out something else to make the shape interesting. Mainly to cut up the shape. Or, or just change the lighting direction. <laughs> artistic choices. Artistic choices. So basically, this is very suiting, very fitting for, say, like... Um character with a lot of hair especially girls uh, boys can have it if they have enough hair yep and I like having this shadow and light on the same layer because I can just sample the shadow color and just and just edit the shape that way I don't have to worry about much I guess and a little bit of rim light on the side now I'm going into you have to be aware of the lights um, strength you want the face to be the brightest with the most contrast And you want the um, all the contrasty areas to be a little bit more spread out, not too close together, so the eyes can travel from one end to another. Mainly, when you look at this pure shadow layer, it has to look interesting to you. Yeah. Some of the areas that I don't want to catch too much light, I use a softer, a softer, a softer light, like a softer shade, pretty much. I'm just working from the lights. Oh man, this 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 technique is so ah, oh, such a cheat, such a cheat. I'm I'm glad I learned it. <laughs> don't have to figure everything out at this on this layer there's another layer there's other layers later but major light source this is this layer is set on normal anyway uh, by the way normal normal opacity normal uh, mode yeah I don't know how to translate this to traditional if you're doing it traditionally it will be a little harder um If you translate it traditionally, it's very similar to how you start oil painting, kind of. Yeah. Oil painting, often we start with browns and yellows for the lighting. And this is the part where you start to add some detail on the clothing folds.
but you don't have to add all the ambient ambience here. Uh, ambient shadow is another another layer. That's when you give shadows more detail. You can soften the shadows by. I'm using um basic dense watercolor in Clip Studio right now. Like a softer brush, not not a super uh. Alrighty, back. I'm trying to finish this. Okay, finishing. Well, this is a lot tougher than I thought it would be. Being a mom and your baby just will not leave you alone. <laughs> Oh. All right, almost done. Okay. This is uh, maybe a little bit unusual for his hair. Even. Well, anyway, it's a kind of design you don't really anymore because it's from older times hey maybe older style maybe come back okay I'm to treat it like this is gonna be a shadow over here. Brandy's is easy. <laughs> you kind of have to uh, keep in mind that the uh, light is coming down like this so. but it's gonna for crisp his hair is partially casting shadow on itself so <laughs> it's not gonna be uh, as straightforward as the other characters alrighty If you don't, if you have never done still life drawings before and understanding the complex shape relationship between items, you're gonna have a little hard time trying to figure this out. So, if you ever get stuck on the shapes or what needs to catch your light, I suggest drawing some still life, it will help. You can copy other people too, but uh, still life will give you a uh, more fundamental understanding on how lights is being bounced off on different forms, on different basic forms, yeah. If you can draw up to like a basket of fruits and with fabrics, you can handle all the characters. <laughs> So yeah, put that on your training menu if you are having issues figuring out shapes of light and shadow on a person, on a character, yeah. All I can say for now, it's really hard to explain how that all works <laughs> on so many different shapes. shoot excuse me this is such a rough such a rough I don't want it that way such a rough recording <laughs> uh 
All right. Light coming that way shouldn't be the bright. Shouldn't be that bright day. Oh. Now that's a simple broom shape. Simple cylinder shape. not finished yet. Let's do science. I don't want to do post-production, but I guess I need to. I don't want him to stand out too much against Angel, so I am going to have a weaker, weaker light over here. But he's not going to be the strongest component in this image. A lot about painting is um, with designing an illustration that looks good is all about guiding the eyes. Now the next trick, next trick is literally duplicate, duplicate the shadow layer and then set it on overlay. Ta-da! <laughs> See how, type, how bright that gets? Well, I'm using the same shadow layer twice. Alright, Angel's already done so I'm just gonna erase her side. I don't need it that hot. Super hot right now. Okay. Let's see how hot this gets. We only need to keep the light part intense. Everything else and tone down. And areas where you want the eyes to go to. Just erase. Yeah. Now you can just erase. You can even erase some part of the light. That's too intense. I don't want so much attention on that arm. So I erase that part. Basically keeping... Hmm, I want that gone over there, no. That bright. I need Angel still to be the main character on this image. So I pretty much erased most of the bright part. The intense part on Chris, except some part on his face. Angel, Randy will be the second most important part of the storytelling right now. I don't want Jeremy to stand out too much so he can fall back in the background and we just erase his part. Um, I let Rose, top of Rose, catch more light over there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, that's light. Um, then next is blurring it. Just a tiny bit of blur. Yep. 
Here we go. Done. It's super easy, isn't it? The reason one on rose because the background is blue. So I started with you sure. Started with the sketch. And I do the color and I do the shadow in purple because like um even though it's the blue you have um blood red for someone who's alive. Um, so it influenced the shadow to be generally purple when it's on a character. So I did that and then some ambience light and highlight. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is actually really simple to do. Oh, I did, um, a little run over for the, um, so this is the basic layer. And that's the ambience. And that's the that's the that's the line art. And this is the little line art copy turn red. And move it slightly. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. It's a very simple tutorial of how this works. It's super simple. Yeah, it's a, it's a so so total cheat. I love it. I'm gonna abuse it. Yep. 